All right, over here we have cabin seven. It's the first one coming up and there's a horseshoe thing across from it. Here's number eight, which is what we're staying in. You can only see the lake kind of through the side of the cabin. This one's number nine. We think that you could, you have a better view of the lake on this one if we were to stay in number nine. So you can see the lake right there. It looks pretty nice. And then up here will be number 10. So this one looks like it would be a good one to stay in, number 10, because it has a patio here, a door there, and a sliding door. And are these people gone? I don't want to like come up here if they're... <laughs> then you have a whole private deck, and you can totally see the lake on this one. Beautiful. And looks like there is a big window there. And if you go backwards, this is nine. And the one we're staying at is the one beside that, which is number eight. So I don't know if you can see inside here. This is number 10. It looks like it's a lot nicer than the one that we are staying in. This is a a completely separate room from the bedrooms it looks like um, and then you have the sliding door over here which is cool all right let's see if I can come in through this window here it can't really get good video from in here, but you can see that it's like there's a wood burning something here. And then over here, number 11. Okay, this is number nine. It has the exact same layout that our number eight has inside. The only difference is, is this one actually does have, you can see the lake a lot more from in here. And it has a nice little chair there too. this one but yeah this is beautiful right here the sun is coming out again all right so the one nice thing about 11 is it's at the very end so there's nobody past here which would be kind of nice with the dog situation but it's probably not as nice as number 10 See if we very nice lake view though. Okay, so this is the one we're staying in. Picnic tables out front. Had a nice tree here. Nice tree here. And then in the back. We have a pit, which this time of year you're not allowed to use. But
Okay, so this is cabin eight that we stayed in. And I'm taking this video on the day we're leaving, so everything is not perfect. Like I've got the dirty dishes and towels and stuff there. But it has a nice little kitchen with a fridge and a microwave sink, and it's fully stocked in there with pots and stuff, tea kettles and cups, and electric, or not an electric, gas stove. And I thought these were so cute. These things were they made for hanging things. And then you walk into a, another room, which has a door here. So if you want to separate from the kitchen. And I think this turns into a bed, but we didn't need to. Because we've got this bed here and this bed here. And honestly, this is the first time we've seen sun. Pretty much when we got here, the whole trip has been cloudy and rain and hail, but looks like it's going to be beautiful now that we're leaving. There's a little wood stove, comes with a fan. There's some more of these cute little hooks. Then you have this little side room that has a heater in it and a closet and some storage space up there. But we, and even a dresser, which I just realized I didn't even notice this last time. I guess we could have used that, but we only stayed for two days. More storage space here. A window. This is the window that you can actually see the light through. And they supply towels and the bathroom. The only thing is, is that this shower is really small. It's like when I was in there, I could barely turn around. It was hard to like get the water to go on my legs. And there's a toilet behind the door, but we don't need to see that. <clears throat> so yeah, it was a nice little cabin. And actually, we looked in the windows of most of the other cabins because they were not taken. And the one we got seems to have the oldest furniture. Like some of the other ones have newer furniture. So anyways, this is our cute little place. It's beautiful now. We didn't get to go swimming or anything because it was freezing. That's too bad. Let's walk over here to number seven. Okay, I'm continuing on with number seven. This is the back and it wraps around here. You have quite a bit of privacy though, for sure. Like for the dog situation. And looks like the picnic table's out front again. The inside does look like it has newer furniture than ours. Over there. Hi, Jay. Okay, I'm approaching number six, which is in a different area. Looks to be about the same size as the and style as the one that we have. I think these ones are considered the lake cabin ones. They definitely have a lot more shade and stuff, but smaller area. And then you go down here some more. And I'm guessing, what number does it say on there, Shay? I can't see it from here. 5B and 5A. And if you go down here is where you go to the lake. And there's not much beach there. Maybe I'll take a little bit of a picture of that. But you can rent boats and canoes and stuff, kayak. Yeah, so that's about it. There's just like a little opening down there where that canopy is for 
getting to the beach so and but they do have a thing you can swim out to and here is these other cabins looks like someone is staying in these ones so i can't really get a good idea of what they're like inside but we can go behind and see what it looks like for view yeah, there's not much of a backyard it's sloping so you can't really hang out back here but you do have a beautiful lake view but i wouldn't say this would be a good one for dogs and then looks like there's a humongous one down here 4b 4a they're joined, so it's probably for like a big family. Lots of patio space back there. And it looks like you'll have the view of the lake and stuff too. But it's pretty big. It's a pretty big one. And then over here goes up to the lodge. This is the front of 5A, 5B again. But yeah, I don't know if I'd want these ones for the dogs at all. Unless we can afford this big one down here because it looks private. Here's the back side of the big ones. They have really big windows and looks like there's barbecues even. So, and they, they look like they're really quite big. Like they're a lot wider than the cedar cabins. And then you've got the view. And this must be the 5A, 5B in the back. I'm just noticing from this angle of 4A, you can see that the patio has bars. So we could set it up so the dogs could run around on the patio without getting out. So that's cool. Looks like there's this little side area in here too. It's kind of private that we could take the dogs to the bathroom. These are the lodge rooms. There's one, two, and three of them. Number one looks like it has a double bed. Maybe a queen, I'm not sure. And then two and three both have two single beds in them. They look quite small in there, but there is a microwave and a fridge. And then you have this little outdoor covered area. And you'll be able to see the view of the lake. If I can get it to there we go. We've got two single beds and then yeah and then it looks like there's a bathroom in there. They have boats that you can rent with or without a little electric motor.